You're supposed to be doing cardio in five minutes. Cardio? The erotic magician I dated in the early 2000s? This was Exercise. very well received, and clearly I loved it. <laughs> but were you ever worried that people wouldn't get the choose your own adventure style? And were you ever confused by the alternate outcomes? Oh my God. I was confused with the whole damn thing. <laughs> I'd never uh, shot, I'd, <laughs> I'd never shot an interactive match before. And there were 900 different endings. Um, right. And they were all, all similar enough to where at any moment now, you and your scene partner could be in three different versions of the same scene and right. not know it, you know. Uh, and, uh, but, you know, a lot of people don't give uh, the script supervisor um, enough credit, and I, her name escapes me, I think it was Mary, um, but this woman uh, was the glue. She and Claire Scanlon, I believe it's her name, um, who directed it, uh, held it together and, and reminded us of where we were in the story, but it was not easy. Uh, and it was very hot last summer. Was it last summer when we filmed that? Yeah, it was yeah. hot last summer. Yeah, it was really, really warm. And most of this movie took place outdoors and Ellie was pregnant. So um, it was um, it was not uh, easy. It was fun, though. But it wasn't easy. This is your fifth nomination for Titus Andromedon, correct? Thank you, Lord. Yes. Does it still feel surreal every time? Um, it never goes lost on me, my good fortune. It is a result of now being aware uh, of how much representation matters. And I, yes. I didn't have a me. The brave souls uh, that were there, that were of color and that were gay and uh, living their life openly, I was shielded from because I grew up in, in the church. So mm -hmm. when I got my first nomination, it reminded me of watching Barack Obama receive the Democratic nomination. Yes. It wasn't until I saw him received the nomination that I realized that I had been living my life um, um, obliging to the uh, glass ceiling. Mm -hmm. It was literally the sight of the man mm -hmm. that sort of broke a seal inside me. And I, it was a domino effect and things uh, started to chip away and, and generational curses just came, came falling down. Mm -hmm. So when I got that first nomination, um, I realized what a profound moment it was in the history of our people mm -hmm. and in the history of uh, people of color who are also the LGBTQ uh, plus community. And this most recent one struck differently because of the national unrest and mm -hmm. um, you yeah. know realizing just how far we have not come um, and how all these problems have always been here, but most of them have been lying dormant. Um, and so to have my, our industry um, acknowledge uh, me and people who look like me, you know, finally was like, it, it says to me, Titus, you know, this has nothing to do with you, but everything to do with the moment. And to those who are coming, uh, beneath you through the ranks who are looking to this moment and at this moment as a source of hope uh, and motivation uh, to uh, dare and deign to ask for more and to dream for more and not just dream it and ask it, uh, but to actually be able to achieve it because it is possible.